Welcome, everybody. Today, we are learning all about abstract art. The style we'll be looking at will be from the artist Kandinsky. The work of his we're going to be focused on will be concentric circles. Here's some examples of Kandinsky's work with concentric circles. This is done in watercolor. This is a student. And this is done in construction paper by a student. So the materials you'll need today will be crayons or color pencils. You can use oil pastels or even markers. So whatever you have available. I'm going to be using some color sticks. These are just color pencils without the wood. So first you'll need some paper and you're going to fold it into four. Fold it in half once and then in half again. So here I am just starting out with four colors. Just trying to map out any patterns that I'm going to be using. Then I decided I didn't want to use the color stick, so I took out my paint box. In here I had some watercolors I bought at Michael's. These were $5 over the summer. I think they're still $5 now. Uh, but there's lots of colors, so I decided that's what I was going to use. So I picked two paintbrushes. I think I only used one. I had a cup of water and a paper towel. Again, fold the paper in half and in half again. I stuck with the same colors I used with the color sticks. So the yellow, purple, green, and I didn't really have a red, so I used a pink color. Again, just making circles in the center of your squares or rectangles. Now you can do one quarter of the paper at a time. Uh, I think it's easier to map out your colors if you do your four middle circles first. Then you need to decide what colors are going to go next to each other. And this can be a little complicated. Um, as you can see, the process is sped up a little bit, um, but this does take a while. You also want to decide if your circles are going to be thick or thin, how big Again, how big or how small each color band is going to be. So on this particular project, I just used random colors. I didn't stick to any color scheme or any particular set of colors uh, or number of colors. In just a few minutes, you'll see how uh, I chose to go with a limited number of colors. I started this project all over again.
Also, I was filming with the camera between my arms, which was making it very difficult to paint. Uh, so I moved the camera and started the project all over again. And I think I did this project three times. Uh, each time took me about 40 minutes to complete one project. So this is the second one in watercolors. And I believe I picked about eight colors, maybe seven, but I think eight. And I did one quarter at a time on this one. So again, just take your time. Um, I found that folding the paper uh, helped keep it a lot neater so that you didn't go into the next section. The reason I folded it was so that the colors did not cross over into the next section. Um, if you're using paint, just make sure the paint is dry before you fold it. This made it a lot cleaner, unlike the first one. I'm using thick lines and thin lines, alternating those. I did go back to the color sticks uh, and finish it so that you guys could see it. This one I used 12 colors and just rotated through the same 12 colors. I think on this one I did not use the same color twice in a in one of the squares or rectangles so I made sure I did not repeat any colors in each circle Again, I was testing and experimenting with different patterns and colors together just to see what worked, what didn't work, what looked good together, what didn't look good together. And then one more time, if you have crayons, markers this works with, uh, construction paper again. That was the finished color sticks. That was the first painting I did. And that's the second painting I did, which I think came out a lot better. And hopefully you guys have fun with this. Uh, can't wait to see what you guys come up with. 